So today is super exciting because we are getting our um, coho salmon eggs from the fish hatchery. And um, from today on, the kids get to watch them develop until their release in May. Do you know what we're doing this afternoon? What, what are we gonna do this afternoon? Yeah, we're gonna watch them bring the eggs, the salmon eggs this afternoon. So are we ready to go down there? Okay. The program's called Storming the Sound. It's a great way to build awareness in our community through our students about stormwater runoff and help them understand the relationship that that has in our community to keeping the environment healthy. This program is awesome. The curriculum is super easy to follow. You get a binder with uh, lessons that are already prepared to go and the tank maintenance is pretty minimal, but the engagement of the students is super high. So the Storming Sound with Salmon program is a partnership between Federal Way Public School District and the Surface Water Division here, Public Works at City of Federal Way. This is the first year we're incorporating uh, low impact development, LID, into the uh, Storming the Sound with Salmon program. It's not just about water. I mean, it's about water, it's about solid waste, it's about wastewater, it's about air. They're all connected. So our program, we actually tie all of those in together. Well, just to explore and like get up close to see what they look like when they're, before they're born. We can examine yeah. them and see the life cycle of them. And we can have an interest of fish. So today we brought out some 4th and 5th grade students to learn about some of the low impact design features at the Town Square Park. I think it's really important for our scholars to learn about salmon in their community. It's a really important cultural feature here in the Pacific Northwest and it's um, something that they can actually make some choices and some changes about that really has a measurable impact on the environment. So it's a really nice way for students to feel connected to their community and to be able to feel like they're taking action steps that are really having a positive impact on the community. I'm gonna give each pair of buddies a spray bottle and I want you to spray different surfaces and then we're gonna come back in a few minutes and I'm gonna ask you what surfaces were permeable and which surfaces. Alrighty, pair of buddies. They were excited today. One of the stations was talking about how, you know, our creek that we release our salmon into starts right over there under the mall. And so some of the things that they're learning about here, they can really see it and when it connects to the fish that they're raising and they're releasing, it just gets really personal for them. Their salmon arrive in the fall, um, right around November, and then they get to watch them develop from eggs to fry, and they learn about the salmon life cycle throughout that process. And then they also learn about environmental impacts to the salmon. So how do we protect the salmon's habitat to keep them healthy? And then it culminates with them being able to bring the salmon they've raised out here to the park to release them into the wild. And they're excited and they're passionate, and um, I think that's wonderful. We need more of that. I named it Kylo. The release was like really fun and cool and it was awesome to see them come from that just the school and go back to its home in the river. I think my fish will make it out in the rivers. The release was awesome. It was fun to see the fish go down the slide and into the water. My fish name was Bob. Um, I think Bob's going to do fine, and yeah, he should survive. <laughs> I felt like he was happy and grown up, and he was amazing. The program's fun. I think people should join it and have fun. It's going to be cool. I think the content that they're learning, it's much more uh, engaging when you can learn science and you can see how it applies in your local environment. But also, scholars may choose to have careers in this area. I mean, that's another thing. You're starting to experience and explore those careers early on. And we know that for a lot of our scholars, by the time they leave elementary school, they've already decided whether or not they could be successful in those careers. And so we're now closing gaps. And this particular project might uh, allow them to decide to choose it, where they might not have had they not had that experience. 
I'm sure it will make a difference. I don't see how it couldn't make a difference. When you've seen the fish in their habitat, you've learned about how our human actions impact them, I can't help but think that's gonna help them to make different choices and tell the people around them about how their choices impact these salmon as well. When you go home, often a mom or dad will say, what did you learn today? And I think the power is, they're not gonna say nothing. They're probably gonna really have a great story to tell about the learning. And that just gives uh, families confidence in what's happening. Oh, and it's fun. I forgot that part. It's really fun. Hooray!